What is happening everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you two simple steps using Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition to take your audio that sounds like this. So we've got some fan noise, it's a little bit noisy, you've got a room noise going on. I'm going to clean it up and get it to sound like this. So here the audio is cleaner, that background noise is gone, but now it's hollow and tinny, it doesn't sound too good. And I'm going to get it to sound like this. Here you've got a nice full body sounding audio. Let's jump right into it. Here we are in Premiere and I've imported the clip that we shot for the intro sequence. Let's take a listen. What is happening everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you two simple steps. Use so that doesn't sound too bad, however our levels are too low. As you can see, they're not hitting that 6 and 12 decibel level mark. Around the 18 level, it's peaking probably at 18, alright? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the audio effects tab, the panel up here. We're going to go to the essential sound panel. We're going to clear audio type, select it as dialogue, and we are going to auto match. What that's going to do is going to bring all of your audio levels up. Let's listen to it now. What is happening everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you. So those levels are much better. They're hitting that 6 to 12 decibel level mark. However, now we're introducing that room noise. You're really hearing the fans kick it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click over here and we're going to edit clip in Adobe Audition. That's going to bring Adobe Audition up. It's going to open it up for us. And then here is our sound wave. So you can play it through here. What is happening, everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you. Again, your levels are good, but you've got that background noise and that hum of the fans. Really easy. Two steps. We go to effects, noise reduction and restoration, and then we're going to go to adaptive noise reduction. Apply. It's going to analyze the clip for us and then let's listen. What is happening everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you two. So that background noise is gone. The hum is gone, but now we've got that hollow effect. So what we're going to do from here, we're going to save the clip. We're going to go back into Premiere. Back in Premiere, and that should have updated, so let's have a listen over here. What is happening, everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you... Okay, that background hum is gone, but now we've got a pretty hollow sounding clip. What we're going to do is we're going to use the parametric equalizer tool. So let's go to our effects, search, I'm just going to hit EQ, uh, and then you're going to get parametric equalizer right over here. I'm going to come in and drop it on a clip. I'm going to go to effect controls parametric equalizer, we're going to hit edit, and then for default what we're going to do is I think vocal enhancer. Alright, so let's take a listen what that sounds like. What is happening everybody? In today's video I'm going to show you two simple steps. So that already sounds quite a lot better. Uh, what I want to do however is I'm going to hit this for this, this channel over here and I'm going to pull that slightly down. I found that tends to fill it out a little bit more. Let's have a listen. What is happening everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you two simple steps using Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. So let's turn that off and on. What is happening everybody? That's on. In today's video, I'm going to show you two simple steps That's using off. Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition to take your audio that sounds like this. So you've got some fan noise, it's a little bit noisy sounds a lot better already and that's really a basic way of doing it. A little bit of a bonus, what you can do is in your effects, and this is just a personal preference, what I like to do is add a bit of bass, check bass on that clip, uh, effect controls and bass I'm going to boost by about three decibels and there we go. What is happening everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you two simple steps. Well, there you have it, a couple of easy steps to vastly improve the quality of your audio. If you found this video useful at all, give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any other tips on improving the quality of your audio, let us know in the comments below. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.